welcome to this sound hole particles tutorial done with Neptune CFD. We will be simulating a water jet containing particles arriving in a water sump. This will be a 2D calculation. So first, create a study with the Neptune CFD command, a study called sump hole particles with one case. Then go on your study directory, case run data, and launch the shell script Neptune CFD to run the graphical user interface. In this tutorial, we will be generating the mesh by clicking on Generate Cartesian Mesh. So this is a square with a length of 1 meter in the x and y direction, and 1 centimeter in the z direction for the 2D. Once it's done, go on boundary zones. First, add a boundary called outlet on the top of the domain. Another one called inlet with a length of 5 cm on the left. Then add another boundary called outlet water. It will be on the right with a length of 5 cm. Then the symmetries, which are normal to the Z component. And all of the other boundary zones are walls. Then go on calculation features and check Eulian multiphase with user defined. On main field, Change the field label for water and for air. And then add another one called debris, which will represent the particles. Change the phase to solid with the interfacial criterion and dispersed. And the carrier phase is water. In this case, the energy will not be resolved. Then click on Turbulence Models. For the water, choose an RIG Epsilon SSG. And for the debris, choose an R2Q12 Turbulence Model. You then need to choose separate faces. On body forces, you need to add the gravity in the Y component. Then click on Closure Modeling. For the water-air interaction, no need to change anything. Then click on the water debris interaction. Keep the drag as it is. And change all the other settings to None. On Interfacial Area, for the debris, choose a constant model with the following default diameter. Then click on Particle Interactions. You can let all the settings as it is. And Volume Conditions, check Initialization. Then click on All Cells to change the thermodynamic properties. Set the following properties for the water. Same thing for the air. And finally, for the debris, on the initialization tab, choose a pressure of one atmosphere. Then, first for the water field, 
Initially, there's no velocity. And for the volume fraction, set the volume fraction of 1 when y is lower than 0 0.5 meter. And else, set the volume fraction of 0. You can copy the expression for the air field. So for the air, initially there's no velocity. And for the volumic fraction, you can pass the expression you just copied and change if y is greater than 0 0.5. Finally, for the debris, initially there's no debris, so velocity of 0 and a fraction of 0. Then in boundary conditions, change the natures. Then click on Outlet. This is the outlet which is located in the top of the domain. So there's no water, so set a fraction of 0 for the water. For the air, set a fraction of 1. And for the debris, set a fraction of 0. For the inlet, set a fraction of 0 0.99 for the water with a velocity of 0 0.5 meter per second and a hydraulic diameter of 5 centimeters. No need to change anything for the air and for the debris. Set a fraction of 0 0.01 and a velocity of 0 0.5 meter per second. And for the turbulence, change the expression as follows. Then for the outlet water, for the water field, set a fraction of 1 with a velocity of negative 0.5 because this is an outlet. And for the turbulence, set an hydraulic diameter of 5 cm. For the air field, no need to change anything because there's no air in the outlet water. And for the debris field, just change the turbulence expression as before. And finally for the walls, set the following properties for the wall model for each field. Then click on time settings and choose an adaptive time step with a time analysis of 50 seconds. Then click on the numerical parameters. And you just need to uncheck activate reconstructions. Then click on post processing. For the writer tab, choose an output every 10 milliseconds. You can then save a simulation and go back in your terminal window, go in the source directory, and copy from the Neptune CFD installation directory the source in C user boundary conditions. You can then display the routine and check if you have the same spelling between the outlet water given in the source and the one given in the graphical user interface. Then go back in your graphical user interface and you can launch the calculation. You can then open ParaView to post-process the results. So you can add a filter, 
cell data to burn data to smooth the results. And you can also add a time filter. We can display the volumic fraction of water and see its evolution. Then same thing for the volumic fraction of the debris. We can see that at the end, there's a high concentration uh, near to the outlet.